On Wednesday, former executive director supervision in Bank of Uganda, Justin Bajenda told the committee on commissions, statutory authorities and state enterprises that she did not move official documents but private items from our office in the central bank. It has spit over tomorrow. The committee decided to review the CCTV footage captured on the day Bajenda and her ADs moved out the items in three suitcases. However, before the footage was shown, some MPs expressed reservations about reviewing the footage in the presence of the media for fear of compromising the security of the central bank. My suggestion would be, let's look at it as only the members. Our good friends, the press, would get information afterwards. If it is too confidential, then you can say even we the members should not see, should not watch. The obligation we have as leaders is the obligation the press should have. It was later agreed that the proceedings remain public and in the video, Bajenda's bodyguard and other ADs could be seen carrying suitcases and a polythene bag. However, they used the emergency exit and were not checked by security officers. On another occasion, Bajenda's female police bodyguard is seen in the footage opening the gate and ushering in two vehicles at different intervals and escorting the occupants to Bajenda's office. And when the police officer was asked to identify the people she granted access, she lost her cool. Some MPs felt that she was undermining their authority. Committee Chairman Abdul Katuntu had to intervene. As I said last time, my work is to give security to my principal. Other issues, money, documents, what have this as none of my business. So now the questions are becoming very many. My work is to give security. Since my principal is around, may I help me can, to can answer? Do, do, don't irritate us, please. Don't, don't irritate us, please. We are going to answer each and every question asked to the best of your knowledge. Bajenda was asked why she did not follow the procedures of allowing visitors into the Bank of Uganda premises. Some MPs were shocked when she said she did not know of such a policy. Did you know of the existence of the restrictions of access of visitors to banking premises? Thank you, Chair. I was not aware. She knew the policy, and then today she says she doesn't know the policy. It is on record where she says she knows the policy. Former EDS, the Bank of Uganda, 35 years, doesn't know the security manual. Bank of Uganda Director of Security and a Security Consultant faulted Bajenda for breaching the bankers' security protocols. It's not incumbent on security to say that we must check you. You have to show that you are not carrying out anything and you say, check me, these are my, my, my things. Thank you, Chair. And may I refer you to the footage? Chair, we all watch the footage. When those bags went out, I was not at the security point. I was still in my office, and I made that one clear. According to the chairperson of Kosase, Abdul Katuntu, he says failure for them to get documents from Bank of Uganda is making it hard for them to continue probing into the closure of some of the banks. Juma Kiria, NTV.